Hello everyone and welcome to another VAS Aviation video. In this VAS Aviation lesson we will go over the TAF and we will learn the main differences from the meter and how to read and decode the data it contains. If you haven't watched the lesson about the METAR, I highly recommend watching that video to understand basic concepts we will talk about here. TAFs or Terminal Aerodrome Forecast are different from the METAR since they describe the forecast conditions on an aerodrome in periods of 9 or 24 hours. 9 hour TAFs are usually issued every 3 hours and 12 to 24 hour TAFs are normally issued every 6 hours. The TAF is shown separately from the METAR but many of the codes and groups using TAFs are the same as in the METARs. We will focus on the main differences in this lesson. We can see the group TAF in the example stating it is now a TAF and not a METAR, therefore a forecast. The ICAO code of the aerodrome in particular the tab will be based at follows the type of report. Remember that the METAR was a weather report at a specific time. The TAF, however, is a forecast of the expected future weather. We will now face two different dates in the TAF. The first is the date the TAV was issued on and the second will be the forecast. The forecast validity time can be given in two different ways. In the example, we can see the validity time is from 07 Sulu to 16 Sulu of the day 13th of the month. Another way to show this information is by the slash group as shown in the example. The validity is now read as 13th 07 to 13th 16. The coding of the wind is the same as in the METAR. The minimum visibility forecast will be given and cloud and weather reports will be shown the same way as in the METAR. Again, I highly recommend watching the METAR lesson in order to understand all these groups. In case of convective significant clouds, only CBs or cumulonimbus are shown in the TAF being the towering cumulus excluded. You may remember that the METAR had extra information after the cloud groups such as QNH or atmospheric pressure, temperature, dew point or recent weather observations. This data is not shown in the TAF. However, maximum and minimum temperature can be given in some countries with the following codes and validity time. Maximum expected temperature will be 20 degrees at 14 Sulu of the day first and minimum expected temperature will be 14 degrees at 5 Sulu of the day second. Significant changes are shown next via the codes FROM, AT and TILL or via the forecast slash group. For example, from 09 Sulu to 15 Sulu, the visibility will be 3000 meters, rain drizzle, and broken clouds are expected at 1000 feet. You can now see how it is issued with this slash group in the example. Refresh your memory with the groups tempo and becoming in the METAR lesson. Another group we encounter now is the probability expressed in percentage and will be followed by the forecast. The Prop 30 group expresses low probability of occurrence of what goes next and Prop 40 group denotes a high probability. For example, high probability of temporary changes between 15 Sulu to 21 Sulu showing broken clouds at 1200 feet. The last thing we should know about the TAF is the code AMD inserted after the TAF identifier when an amendment has been taken. We finished the lesson about the TAF. 
Meters and TAFs are the basic weather reports that we must take into consideration when preparing our flights. You can see different meters and TAFs picked randomly from the internet and I invite you to make your guess on the comments below writing the way you would read the report. I really hope you enjoyed the content and learned new things about the aviation world. If you have also any questions related to this lesson or any other topic, don't hesitate and leave it right below on the comment section. It's VAS Aviation, frequency change approved, and <laughs> see you guys.